Hi, my name is Rick. I work here at Line 6, and today I'm going to teach you how to install drivers for a tone port device on a Windows Vista machine. I'm also going to show you how to set up the tone port to be your external sound card. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is install the drivers for the tone port. Um, so you're going to want to go ahead and launch Line 6 Monkey. If you don't have Line 6 Monkey installed on your computer, you can download it from uh, our software downloads page at line6.com. Okay, so I'm using a uh, Pod X3 to record the uh, vocals here for our tutorial. Uh, so what I want to do is uh, select the tone board to be our device. So we're going to go ahead and click Change Device here in Monkey. And since we don't have drivers installed for the tone port, we're going to click on I don't see my device. Monkey's going to give us a drop down option, and you just want to select your product from the drop down. And I'm using an older tone port UX1, so we're going to select that and click OK. OK, so now we have this little image here of a tone port, and as you can see, it says not connected. You're going to want to click on the updates tab. And you can see here in your drivers, it's got a yellow triangle with an exclamation point in it. That means that there aren't any drivers installed on your machine for this device. So you're going to want to go ahead and click on the update selection button. Okay, so Monkey gives us a little message that says it's going to close out and uh, in order to allow the uh, install wizard for the drivers to, to start up, and we want to click OK and do that. If you see this on your Vista machine, it's, uh, it's a permissions thing on Vista. You can go ahead and click Continue. Okay, so now we're at our, our setup wizard, and we want to click Next to continue. Agree to the license agreement. You're going to want to make sure that your USB cable is not plugged into your tone port at this point and click Next. Okay, from this list now uh, below, we're going to want to uh, select the, uh, our device from, uh, from the list provided here. So we're going to go ahead and select UX1. Click Next. The install location is fine. And we're going to go ahead and install. Okay, once the install is finished, you can click Next. And at this point, we're going to plug our USB cable back into the tone port. All right, and you'll see down here in the little, little corner here that Vista sees the drivers, and it's going to go ahead and start installing it on its own. And up here in the Line 6 wizard, you can go ahead and click Next and then Finish. Down here, we see that Vista has detected the driver and installed it correctly, so we're good. Okay, so at this point we want to set the tone port up to be our external sound card. And in Vista, that's pretty simple. What you're going to want to do is click on this little Microsoft icon here, and then go to your control panel. And at this point you want to click on sound. And here's the, uh, the playback uh, uh, window here in our sound properties window. Um, we've got uh, our tone port right here which is working um, we've got our line 6 device here basically anything that's uh, that's got a green uh, check near it is actually your your uh, active um, playback device or your sound card so the tone port is acting as the sound uh, card for this machine right now um, you can easily right click to disable um, and set something else to be your sound card uh, that's fine too but it's pretty simple it's it's all right here so that's pretty much it. Um, we'll, we'll follow up uh, in the future with more tutorials uh, uh, for Vista. We've gotten a lot of requests for, for tutorials on Vista, so uh, stay tuned.